hi loves welcome back to our channel so i just got done filming a video for my personal channel if you want go ahead and check that out i don't know if it'll be up before this video or after but i do have other videos on my channel so if you haven't checked out my channel and subscribed yet go ahead and do that so i kind of got good news and bad news for this video the good news is i'm off work so shout out to your girl and the bad news is Adam is at work. When I'm working, he's off. And when he's working, I'm off. So we never have a day where we both can just be together. So I'm just gonna do some little tidying up and get some things together and make sure the house is all organized and everything. I guess I can tell you a little bit about my morning before we start so you can guys be caught up on what's going on over here. I woke up this morning to Adam not being here, so that really kind of threw me off because I didn't even know he had work today. So I'm kind of sad that I haven't seen him. After I found out he was going, I decided I was gonna be very productive. So I decided to work out. Um, I got a good workout in and then I showered and I realized my hair was a hot mess. So guys, I currently have a wig on. Like, this is all my natural hair. I have a U-part wig on and I just did my edges and put the wig on and put this scarf on and I called it a day. So it's been a struggle. I'm gonna wash my hair after this video. I just wanted to make sure I get some content out and I couldn't do that with my hair looking crazy. So currently the house is a little junky. I'm about to clean up real quick. I'll take you guys along with me. And then I'm gonna show you guys some new things I got for the apartment. Just some little furniture decor. Um, I went thrift shopping yesterday. So I'm gonna show you guys the little things I bought from there. It was only like three things and I only paid total for all three things only like 14 bucks so i'm definitely gonna start going thrift shopping more because these stores be asking for an arm and a leg i don't have it i'm a college student and i'm on a very strict budget so um yeah i just bought some things from the thrift store and i'm going to show you guys how i'm gonna decorate it around the house and i'm also going to show you guys how i'm going to make this mirror that i bought sneak peek right there I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna make this mirror look different. Like, I don't really like the wood on it. I don't think the wood matches with everything, like with my apartment and everything. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna transform that into something that's gonna be more subtle for my home. And yeah, that's about it, you guys. So give this video a thumbs up right now. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Join the squad and make sure you have your post notifications on because we will be posting more videos and you don't want to miss out so the items i will be using to clean up in terms of cleaning i get bored very quick so i like to change up the smells and everything so i just went to the store and i bought some new smells i also bought this for my toilet bowl you know gotta keep the toilet clean and i also got this new airwick i usually use like this summer smell i think it was like summer delight yeah it was called summer delight but i'm actually gonna try this out for my new plug-in smell because i actually just bought this same smell in my little diffuser sprayer or whatever this thing is called and this sprays out so good oh my gosh y'all it smells so good so if you guys ever need a new smell i would recommend this what is this called woodland mystic fragrance so i definitely recommend you guys get this smell because it smells so good these are literally like my essentials and guys my house is literally a mess the countertops are a mess like i just filmed the video so i left all that out i got my thrift store mirror over there everything is everywhere i got the vacuum out because i'm about to start vacuuming so i'm just gonna make sure i clean up everything in here and then i am going to make sure i clean the bathroom I just cleaned the shower so i don't have to clean the shower so that's a plus i can save my sweat and I'm just gonna clean all this because I got all my stuff out, my little hair products because I just got ready and everything. So I'm just gonna clean everything up, make sure the countertops are clean. I'm definitely gonna clean out the toilet. I usually do that once a week because, you know, it holds a lot of stuff. And then I'm gonna make sure that the garbage can is empty out. All right, you guys, this definitely shouldn't take long, so I'll see you in a bit.
All right, guys, I am officially all done cleaning up. Um, I'll just show you how it looks, I guess. Don't mind the water bottles up there. Your girl gotta stay hydrated. But other than that, everything looks nice and clean. Even the fridge is clean. It had all these fingerprints on it and it's nice and clean now. Okay, honey, we got nice clean countertops. You see that reflection, okay, hunty? The only thing that needs to be done is the floors. Adam is the one to work his magic on the floors. He can make the floors nice and sparkly clean. I can't do it that well, so I'm gonna wait for him to do that. So yeah, everything is nice and clean and Adam is gonna come home to a nice clean house. And I also wanted to show you guys the bathroom i added the little deodorizer in there so yeah and how cute is this little flower i got from at home and it was only like 1.99 so oh yeah you guys while i'm at it i'm just gonna show you all of the new decor it is a work in progress literally because it is taking me so long to decorate first i guess i'll show you guys the front door so I got this wreath from at home. It was only like 10 bucks. Nice and summery, so I like that. Also, I got this placemat. Um, I think I got it from Aldi. Those two go good together. And then when you walk in, I got a new placemat. I used to have another one that said welcome, like a beige color, but I got it in like a gray color now. So I like this one better because it kind of goes with the florence. I just got this from Dollar Tree. It's kind of a joke because it's so tiny. But yeah, I bought that. It was only a dollar and... Yeah, just something to put my feet on because sometimes my feet get wet when I'm washing dishes. So I wanted to show you guys this. I got this from at home also. I've had it since I moved in, but I don't think I showed you guys. And I added another one to go on top. I got this from the Dollar Tree. So like literally everything is affordable, guys. Also, I got this cute tea kettle and I got this from Burlington and it was only like nine bucks. Opens up. It's pretty cute. I like it. So, and I've been drinking tea ever since I bought it. I also got this from the Dollar Tree. It's like a little container. And I just put my tea bags in there. Nothing special, I just keep it right here for convenience. I know you guys probably don't know, but I got this crock pot. I was thinking about cooking some rotisserie um, turkey in here. It was like a little rotisserie turkey I got from Aldi. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make it tonight because it's already five o'clock and I wanna make sure that it's in there cooking for you know at least over four hours. I like it to be very tender, so. I also got this little weighing scale. It's very important to measure your meats and everything. So since I'm not vegetarian anymore, <laughs> I haven't been vegetarian in like a year and a half, but I wanna make sure that I'm measuring my meats if I am eating meat, you know, cause the cravings kick in and I want some meat. So I'm just gonna go ahead and measure it so I make sure I'm watching my intake and make sure I'm not eating too much meat because that's kind of bad for you. I did wanna show you guys this. I got this basket from Burlington and it was only like $10. And I also got the journal from Burlington and I think it was like $7.99. It was a little expensive for a journal, but I paid for it because it was cute. And I've been journaling and making sure that I you know, read the Bible and everything. As you can see, I got my little footprints book and my little study book in the back. So usually I just grab my little notebooks and everything in the morning. We wake up, we pray, and we go over our Bible verses. We've been doing that for a couple weeks now, so it's kind of consistent now, but we just go over our Bible verses and I drink me a little tea and then we just relax in the morning. And it really, really helps jumpstart your day. Like if you start with God in the morning, I'm telling you the rest of your day will definitely be guaranteed to go more smoothly than if you don't start off with God. So definitely start getting that word in you guys. Especially Especially in the world we live in today, society and everything, it's like really, really, really easy to be in the world. We're not perfect, but we're definitely trying to make sure that we're reading our Bible. Oh yeah, and I also wanted to show you guys my laundry room. I absolutely love this because it only was a total of one, two, three, four, five bucks from the Dollar Tree. I do not want to spend a lot of money on stuff, especially if no one's really going to be in this room. So I just wanted something to please myself basically and I absolutely love it. And you know I got my little Scentsy up there. Make sure everything smells nice and clean, especially if we have dirty clothes in there. Keeps it nice and fresh in here. Also, I wanted to show you guys the stuff I bought from the thrift store like I was saying. Got this from the thrift store. It was supposed to be like a, for like the wall, but I like it better as like a little, I don't know. I don't even know the names and stuff. I just like kind of just go on with the flow. But yeah, I like that. So I got that right there and it looks nice. I like it. This is the mirror that I got. It's supposed to be sideways, like the other way around. I think it looks better long ways, so I think I'm gonna keep it long ways. So this mirror from the Goodwill was only a total of $9.99, you guys. And you guys know this would cost 
at least over 40 50 bucks anywhere else so i mean i know it's not like brand spanking new i was thinking about painting the wood because i know it doesn't really match with my apartment but i just thought of an idea i was thinking about using these sanders right here and just sanding it like i already started right here and you guys see it's already turning into a lighter brown i feel like that lighter brown will probably go with my apartment more than the darker brown so i think i'm gonna just sand it and make it look like a nice whitish brown or whatever and then just hang it up and i'm thinking about hanging it up probably up there a long ways because i want something that I give the room depth and make the room look bigger if that makes sense and that's the only spot that i can put it like i didn't think before i bought it i just saw 9.99 and i bought it but i didn't think of anywhere i could put it in my actual apartment so i was looking around and i'm just like mm, i guess it can go right there and also this cute basket this was literally only 1.99 at the goodwill and i absolutely love it i don't know why i'm starting to become obsessed with baskets but i didn't know where to put it so i'm just putting it right here for now and i just put some little fake little leaves that i had so yeah i'm just playing around with decorating and stuff right now but yeah that's that and this thing i got from the dollar tree i used to have this on my door and i just put it right there because i felt like it matched with the basket more but right now on camera it really doesn't look nice so i'm definitely gonna change that definitely and this is the welcome mat that i originally had at the front door i just put it over here because i didn't want to throw it away and it would be useful for me and adam to put our shoes right here when we come from the patio we like to have our shoes on on the patio sometimes so yeah when we come in we can just put our flip-flops right there and then walk on the floor with clean feet and i have to worry about any of that speaking of which baby don't know why they're just in the middle of the living room floor but i'm gonna put them over here see guys good use for that placement moving on i want to go outside and finally show you guys our patio sometimes we just grab the table and put it out here my plants need watering this plant was thriving i love this plant because it lets me know when it needs water and then when i water it it flourishes guys like literally so my parents actually got me this plant and i planted it in this pot um I really love it. I'm gonna put it on the inside during the winter months, but right now I'm just gonna keep it outside because I just like the plants out here. I just love it. <laughs> and over here, you guys, this is my sorry plant. Too bad I'm showing you guys so late because this plant was literally looking beautiful a month ago. And it was already starting to burn. As you can tell, like the roots are burning and it was just starting to burn. So I just said, forget it. I'm not gonna keep it. I'll keep watering it, but I'm just gonna let it die out by itself, so. And then I got this little solar light in here. So at night, it really gets bright and it makes the flowers look so cute. But I think since this flower is dying, I'm gonna put it in this one. And let me water this real quick before I forget, cause it's really looking crazy. Gotcha guys. I'm just putting some water for my plants. But um, I'm at the point where I miss Adam right now, like, it's almost six o'clock and he's not home. He should be coming home very soon. And as you guys can tell, I'm very excited about that. You guys don't know, like I literally love Adam so much. Like, that's my baby. And I miss him all the time. When he's not here, I miss him 24 seven. But anyways, I'm gonna water these plants and then I'm going to try to sand that mirror I got from the thrift store. Hopefully the sanding makes it look nice. So it all depends on how it looks after I sand it, if I'm gonna paint it or not. Does that make sense? I feel like I'm explaining this all weird, but whatever. <laughs> All right, you guys, the flowers are nice and watered. Ooh, the sun is bright. I can't even see my viewfinder, but I'm just gonna wait out here. The sun feels good. It's like 73 degrees outside, so it's nice and cool. So I'm just gonna wait for Adam to come home. I'm probably gonna film him coming home just to show my excitement because I'm like a little kid when he comes home, literally, so. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, you guys, real quick. Adam just called me and he wants me to meet him somewhere, so. I actually have to go meet up with him and we gotta run some errands real quick. I totally forgot. So yeah, we're gonna go handle that and I'll see you guys soon. Baby, <laughs> what you doing? Hey, I am seriously tired, people. Um, I work outside all day and um, I'm exhausted. I told you guys we had to run errands, so I already had that moment. For so sure. unfortunately, you guys couldn't see me being all excited. I missed you, YouTube. It's good to see you today. I'm hungry, guys. Yeah, to eat you know what? We're about to make this pizza right here. Yeah, little thin, thin crust. Boy. We got the pizza sauce, and we got lots of seasoning. You know, Adam like his seasoning. Oh so. yeah, yeah. About to hook it up. <laughs> we got a little Parmesan in the fridge, and we also have 
Pepperoni. Pepperoni. Me, boy. Yep. So. And wait, 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 wait. You know what we also get? You know what we also get? Sunny delight. Sunny <laughs> delight, baby. Boy, Adam loves him some sunny, sunny delight. delight. Oh. Dollar Tree. Oh. Had this for the buck. The buck. Dude, I've been talking about Dollar Tree this whole video. Okay, y'all. Dollar Tree is literally the best thing man ever created. <laughs> Everything you need is at the Dollar Tree. Oh, bro, I swear. Literally. The crazy part about it all is they're talking about raising the prices. The value of a dollar is going up, so I think they're saying that it's going to be like, I don't look, know. No, like, this is how simple it's going to be. <laughs> it's going to turn from one Dollar Tree to two Dollar Tree because you need two dollars to buy stuff. That's what's going to happen. Because like she Just said, like the chips. Remember they used to be 25 look, cents man, at the Look, man, look, man, look, man. I remember the two for a dollar, boys. They don't have Wait, 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 wait. It's two for a dollar fifty. Two for a dollar fifty. <sighs> oh my god. I just I'm having a moment because when I was a kid, man, you get the bag of chips for 25 cents. 25 cent, man. 25 cent, man. You gotta pay two for a dollar fifty, man. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're about to get started with making these pizzas. As you can see, I'm funky. <laughs> it's been a long day. It's been hot, so I'm gonna have to go and get that shower right. You don't smell that bad. Come around, I'll spill on. Oh no, we don't. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't do that, y'all. Okay, I'll see y'all in a minute. Give me a minute, though. All right, you guys, before Adam gets out the shower, I did want to finish my project with this thrift store mirror. Like I was telling you guys, I almost forgot about it because we left out. But I'm just going to see how it is if I sand it right now and just determine if I want to paint it or just leave it like the sanded look. Cool. I'll set you guys right here. It's definitely getting lighter. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. You can definitely tell the difference. See this part to like all this I just did. So, Ooh. but yeah, I'm gonna keep doing this and I'll see you guys when Adam gets out the shower. I'm back y'all. Fresh out the shower with it, you know what I'm saying? So now it's time for the pizza making to begin. First, let's preheat the oven to 425. Oh, Preheat oven, 425. We got some bacon bits. I didn't feel like trying to, uh... Uh-oh. This is our first time making a pizza together, so we thought we'd film it. And I'm about to let y'all know, I'm about to kill this. Yeah, not spread that y'all. Yeah. Old Blaze Pizza. Oh, shoot. Okay, y'all see how she spread that sauce very nice. I thought I spread a little too much, but I'm doing pretty no, good. No, that's spread it. You got to go keep going. Yeah. Oh, so that's why they do it like this. They put it in the middle because you gotta make out the crust. Oh, that seems like it worked perfectly, isn't it? I am so hungry, you guys. I haven't ate all day. And you guys know because I've been vlogging all day and I haven't ate all day. There you go. Thank you, Jesus. God is always good. Let me tell you something. God is good all the time. All the time. We pray every day and night. God is great. Let y'all know that. Amen. Okay, so wait a minute. We gotta put the cheese on that. I think we should put the pepperoni and then the cheese. Never. Yeah. Okay, give it a mouth, sprinkle, sprinkle. Ooh, I need to work at Domino's. That's perfect. Yeah, cheesy, cheesy. This is so fascinating, man. Hey, I really encourage y'all to try this at the crib, man. I ain't never really made my own pizza, but it's kind of fun. Yeah, this is cool. It's literally making your own little dig. How's that good? Yeah, we're Adam likes it nice and cheesy. No, I don't like it cheesy, but you, know, you, got, you got to make it spread, right? Okay, that looks good to me right there. Yeah, that's good. Cool. It's like making an oversized lunch Bam! Yeah, let's go around the big, big circle. And this is the best part about this, is you get to put the pepperonis wherever you want. So you get to save the hassle or the headache of having to eat it a certain way. Yeah, that made no sense. Good job, man. All right, YouTubers. But I think we got our pet doors almost laid on that spit. Just the way we run it. Yeah. Oh, one more. Finish and touch. Eat that. It's good. Pepperoni? It's, it's good. really good. 
So this is what we have. It's almost ready to put in the oven. All right, uh, original. Hey. <laughs> All right. I think we are ready to go. Now we just gotta wait for the oven. Man, it's more simple. Might as well go ahead and wrap this video up, I guess. Right, babe? I know you were only in it for like five seconds. Yeah, we're gonna wrap the video up. Once again, we love you. Thank you for watching. We appreciate your viewing us. Make sure you guys subscribe and turn on those post notifications because we will be posting and those post notifications, post notification, those post notifications, those post notifications really alert you. It's better than just us posting and you kind of like just see it and it just gets lost in a YouTube world. So oh, yeah, sure, definitely man. turn on those post notifications. And I'm sick of seeing we have a lot of content coming up. Just know we got some videos planned ahead. Definitely. And a lot of good see. news coming, guys. A lot of good news coming for the next year to come. Big news, actually. Big news. So, so we'll be keeping you guys in touch on that. And... With that being said. there was something else I wanted to say. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Go subscribe to my channel. Don't forget. I just recorded a video today, so that video should be up. So definitely go check out that video or any other videos that I have on my channel. And make sure you guys subscribe to my channel because new content coming soon, very soon. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? Speaking of that and her channel. Adam. We'll be making a channel very soon, people. I will be creating my own channel. So it's a lot of new content coming from my uh, channel. So please be aware that it's coming soon. I don't know when just yet. Just wait on it, a lot of stuff going on, so. Don't think just because we're starting our own channels that we're trying to like just have a backup just in case something happens. We're never breaking up, okay, hunty? I didn't even think about that, but yeah. But a lot of YouTube couples make their own channels and then like five seconds later they break up. Well, like it's not that, us. I, I wouldn't even be thinking about that, so, but I, I was just thinking, I, you know, <laughs> let me explain it. Oh, the oven's ready. Let me explain it to you. I got some things that I want to talk about that guys want to help. And girls want to hear some things you want to hear. Exactly. Our separate channels would be things that it's just more personal to us. Yeah, more personal, yeah. I guess. You know what I'm saying? What I'm doing, what she's doing. Just our own vibes, you know? Coming soon. Right. Real soon. But in the meantime, continue to watch our videos. Continue to support us. We support every single one of you. We love okay. the comments. We love all the feedback. Literally makes my day, so. And... I that was such an awkward ending, man, but. I love going up and douches. Man, I'm out here, bro. Like, man. Right. Bye. Peace out, man. It was nice. Hope you guys like our pizza, you know what I mean? So. Bye.